we were looking at this whole idea of division by zero, why it's undefined, etc. Okay, so I want to pursue this just a little bit more to get at this idea that maths, like we come to it as this established, timeless body of truth that's always been the same. But actually, that's not always the way it was. And so I'm going to take you on a bit of a time journey through this. Okay, I need a sheet myself. So. Uh, we're looking at a very, very brief history of number systems. That's kind of the um, that's kind of the real heading today. Though you probably don't need to make the heading in your book because I think that you can pretty much fit it all on that page. Okay, but I don't have it up on the board, so I'm going to write it down. Number systems. Okay, now let's think this, through this. Right, I've got these columns here to help us think through what kinds of numbers exist and, and why do they exist and why might that be unusual? Like we're used to these things, but not everyone in history used to be. Okay? So we begin with tallying. Tallying, right? This is the unary or unary system, right? Which is just about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? This system, okay? So tell me, why do you think, why do you think you know, whatever, prehistoric humans came up with this idea. Why did they invent this way of, hey, look, this is five things, and this means another five things, so it's all ten. Why would they have done that? Yeah? Yeah, good. Aha. It's all about, that's the crucial idea, it's all about counting, isn't it? Right? Because counting is something that we do all the time. Good. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, well done. So it's a bit more sophisticated than just one, two, three, four, five. Now, by the way, why do you think it's grouped into fives? Fives? Because actually, like, we're used to dealing with fives, but five is actually a very awkward number. Like, five is prime. You know, if you have a group of five people, so you can't divide it up into anything, right? Um, I think the reason why it's five is because five. Like, I think it's because of human hands. Well, anyway, that's my theory. Okay. So, why was this system invented? It was to make counting easier. Right, it was made for counting, right? But <coughs> this system to us, it's weird. We would, um, excuse me, <coughs> thank you. Um, we would never do maths with this, right? Um, was, can you imagine if we were doing like x squared plus one, two, three, four, five, x plus one, two, three, four, five, six? Like we wouldn't do, this is the um, quadratic I gave you before, equals, uh, we'll come to that in a second. Um, we wouldn't do maths like this. Right? Why? What's the limitation of this system? Hmm. Zero. Okay, we will, we will come to zero, which is this, that's what I was going to put over here. But there's even more, there's even more basic problem with it, yeah. Is it hard to express like numbers Yeah, so like, let's think of the school, for instance, right? Some 2,000 whatever students, okay? So it's like, all right, in my annual school report, I have to write down how many students. So you're like, okay, hold on, guys. 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You're going to be here for a while, right? So this system, the unary system, the tally system, that's the other name for it. Um, it's weird because, well, after like 10, it starts just taking you forever just to write the numbers, let alone do anything with them, okay? So in other words, this system, it doesn't cope with large numbers very well. It doesn't cope with large numbers. Okay. So along come the Romans and they decide we can improve on this. We can improve on this. We're going to have Roman numerals, right? Okay. So what do Roman numerals do better than this system? What do they do? What are the Roman numerals? What are the Roman numerals? Sorry, say that again. I. I. Good. So that's just one. one. Good. So that's 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 one. Gotta be careful with those. What's next after that? A. V for five. five. Okay. What comes after that? X, X for yeah. ten. Okay. How far do we go? C. L. L. I think. W C. Yeah. Okay. Then C, C for a hundred. M. Yeah. Oh, hold on. What's D? D. Five hundred. Five hundred. And then M, M. is a thousand. Yeah. Is there anything bigger than that? Yeah, there's a thing with a line on top. The which? So you, you put like a line on top, like as... Oh, as like, yeah, that okay, okay, all right, all right. But basically, that's, that's the basic set, isn't it? Yeah, good, okay. So, so why is this better? In what way is this an improvement on this system? It's easier, but why is it easier? Yeah. 
fantastic, very good. You remember my scenario before about the population of the school, right? That's really easy to do. Ta-da! Well, I mean, roughly. Right? This would have taken me hours to write in, in a tally system, okay? So, the Roman numeral system, you add letters that stand for large numbers, and that speeds up this process enormously, okay? All right, now, I want you to imagine you're one of these guys. One of these guys who's grown up with these forever, right? You've known nothing else. And then someone comes to you and says, hey, I have a new system, right? This is the way we're going to represent numbers. What would you say to them? What would you say? Like, that's a weird system because... What's unusual about it? You're so used to it. Think about before these were a common thing. Yeah, letters. Letters? Like, by the way, these letters, right? They were not extra symbols. They were, you know, L was still L, right? So when you saw L, you had to work out whether it was 50 or it was L, right? So it seems a bit arbitrary to pick these out. There are reasons for these, by the way. Does anyone know why it's V? Does anyone know why it's V? It's prob probably because you can make a V with your hand with five, one, two, five, right? Um, X, that's a bit weirder. Um, C, C, we know what this is for. C stands for century, cent, centurion, all the things with a hundred, right? Um, but then apart from that, it's like a bit, it starts to get a bit random and arbitrary and you just have to work it out. Whereas you can show one of these to like a little baby and they don't even know what these are and they can count, right? So this is intuitive and this is random. Right? Like, who says it was? It had to be L? Why not, like, you know, T? And the answer is no reason. Because they just started using L, right? So, so that's a bit weird, okay? Um, why should letters represent numbers? So that's confusing. Now, there's still a problem here, right? Um, sure, we can do 2,000. We can do 2,000. But you can't go to the moon with numbers like this, right? Why? What's the problem with this system? Yeah, this one. Yeah. If you want to make numbers, you have to keep inventing new letters to represent them. Good, good. So as you keep on going up, it's like, hey man, I'm running out of letters. I only got, uh, wait, how many do I have left? That's seven. I've only got 19 letters left. And then what happens when you've got bigger numbers than that, right? That's true. Let me get a more functional problem, right? So this is moving to the place system, or place values, right? This is the next row down, okay? Let me pose this problem to you. Can you work out for me uh, let's see. Can you work out this? I had to write times so that you didn't confuse it with X and multiplication. Can you work that out? Can you work it out? Oh, aha, uh haha, -huh. I caught all of you, right? Admittedly, it's a, it's a trap. Um, Admittedly, it's a bit, we're a bit biased because you have not grown up with Roman numerals. But what are you all doing? You're all thinking, oh, I know what this is. That's 59, right? And that's 16. And then you're working it out like that, aren't you? Right? You're, you're, you're deliberately escaping from this way of writing because it's like, how do you multiply these things? How do you divide them? This is just a nightmare to work with. Whereas this, even without a calculator, you can work this out. Right? How would we do it, by the way? No calculators, how would you do it? How would you? Yeah, yeah, good. You'd say, okay, you know, 50 times 16, you'd work out that. Whatever that is. That's 800? No, 8,000? Oh, you work it out. 8,000. 800? Um, then you do 9 times 16, oh, plus. 9 times 16, you can work that out as well. And off you go, okay? So you can break this down. But you can't break down this. You can't break down the Roman numerals. Right? Because you can't say, oh, I'll do the L times, times that X, right? And then I'll do the I times that V. That's, that's confusing because you know, you guys know, this I and this I, they mean different things, don't they? What does this I mean? Minus one. Minus one, and this one means, right, okay. So, so context changes things, right? And that makes it awful for actually doing any operations, okay? So you can do bigger numbers, but here's the problem, right? And this is my um, this is my my idea for why these things were invented, right? Why were numbers like fifty nine and seventeen, right? Why were they invented to make operations easier, so you can work with numbers, okay? Roman numerals is nice for recording stuff, and that's why it looks fancy at the end of a movie. They write the year in Roman numerals because it looks fancy, right? But if you want to do stuff with the numbers, you got to leave Roman numerals. Got to move on. Now, tell me. 
Romans who are used to Roman numerals, you've grown up with them for years. What's weird about this? Okay, well, they're numbers, but... Okay, so we're, we've got a new set of symbols. That's a bit weird, okay? But I think there's something fundamentally more weird about it, and it has to do with this whole place idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Look at this. Two, 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 two. Right? If you gave this to a Roman, and they had a symbol for two, they'd say that's eight. Because if you put two and two and two and two together, if I have sets of two, you'd be eight. That's fine, right? You're telling me this two is different to that two? Which is different to that two? They're all two! What, are you crazy, right? So this is weird, because just because you change the position, right, they mean different things. That's unusual. None of the other systems were really like that. Look, all of these tallies, wherever they are, they mean exactly the same thing, okay? Even this horizontal one, he's in a different spot, he still means one, right? So this place value system, that's weird. Okay, yeah. So how did they do operations? That's a really good question. That's a really good question. And I can tell you right now, not in the same way we did. And it's a lot more awkward because of the limitations of the system. Okay, so now we move on. Now we move on. Let's move on to zero, right? Why was zero invented? Why was zero invented? Hmm. This is actually really easy to work out. Um, some of your Roman numerals, right? Yeah. But how, how did they get 10 and L, like in Roman numerals, how did they get those values that they could have Ah, well, see, okay. So this is a very, very good question to ask. And I, I think that's the right question to ask. Things like L, I'll start, start further back, X, or L, or C, or D, or M, when we write them, we have zeros there, right? So I think a Roman would say, hey, you fancy people with your place values, right? How are you going to write C? Huh? How are you going to do it? You're like, you've got 100, and then you've got nothing over here, right? You don't have a symbol for that. You'd need a symbol for nothing. That's a bit weird, right? So, one got invented, right? Why do you think it, zero looks like that, by the way? Because most cultures, zeros look very same, very similar. Why do you think zero looks like zero? Okay, Does it? Yeah, I, I think that's right. I think it's like, look, there's nothing here. Look, there's nothing there. I'll just, look, there, there's nothing. I just circled nothing inside there. There's nothing there, okay? There's another nothing there. I just put a symbol there so you know nothing's there, okay? So zero is invented to you know, sort of fix up that problem, that I have to write something. The one just can't hang out on its own, right? Because otherwise it just means one, a, d a unit. Okay. But it's weird because how can you have a number for nothing? Like, it started, with, it started with tallying and counting, right? If you don't have anything, you don't tally anything, right? You don't need to write anything. But when you introduce place values, you must, okay? So it was to, to get numbers like this, Right? In place value form, you need zero. Okay. All right, I reckon you guys could answer the next one for me. I'll leave this here. Fractions. And decimals. What problem do you think fractions and decimals were devised to solve? What tool were they devised to solve? Stuff in between. Stuff in between, right. So for instance, right, you got a set of 24 things, and you want to divide it among six people. No problems. Four for you, four for you, four for you, and you get it. But what if you don't have six people you want to divide it up to? What if you have five people? Which is just as common an occurrence, right? It's like, well, you don't get whole pieces. You get numbers between numbers, okay? So, fractions and decimals, they were invented because of problems like this, right? Usually things are invented, like what are inventions for? We invented light because it solves a problem, right? Well, electricity and all that kind of thing, how to use it, right? And we invent numbers for the same thing. We have a problem and we need to solve it. So you invent ways to do that. But it is weird because the idea of numbers between numbers is unusual, right? Uh, and it takes a very long time when you're going from like your 60, your 70, your eight, it takes a long time for people to wrap their heads around and the maths of it, right? Like two plus three is five but a half plus a third is not a fifth, huh? right? It seems to follow different rules, right? And, and they do, because they're different kinds of numbers. 